Why'd you give me these? <laughs> I meant to give you the team. That's not what you gave me though. I know. Let's try a little harder, okay? Or so it's turn too this light. Way. Huh? Just turn this way. Well, I was going to show that. That's fine. <laughs> Go. Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Hmm. All right. So back out here again today. Uh, we got some rain last night, so it cooled things off a little bit. Uh, it's But it's really humid out here, so... Uh, and it is windy today, so I'm not sure how much roof we can get done, but we got the next panel uh, marked. We're underneath the back roof, so we're going to work on the other side, um, which we didn't get done in the last video. Get that done, and then we're going to run our um, transition piece across. That's probably not all going to happen today because, like I said, it's a little bit breezy and it's supposed to get a little bit windier this afternoon, so. We'll have to wait till the wind dies down a little bit which it should tomorrow um, and we can work on that transition piece and then from there we'll be ready on the back side at least to start the the roof panels uh the main panels because we'll have to wait to do the other s small side of the roof uh so on we can porch. see where yeah of the porch to see <laughs> where they uh line up so we'll get this one cut with the nibbler and we'll get it up there because it hits the ribs. What'd you eat your Wheaties today? This is like another straight cut. Awesome power reference again. I was just about to say.
All right, so what we've been doing is we measure this side. This side here. 50 inches. And then we know that the difference between this side and this side is 14 and a half inches. So we need 50 here. So over there we need 35 and a half. So we'll cut that and then we put that one on. I could put a little bit there too where they overlap. Two down, I'll get the rest of these fastened. And then this next one is the one we have to do the double angle on, so we'll have to measure that and then yeah, we'll get that one fastened down. We'll make quick work of this. Well, we're almost done and this rain keeps getting in the way. All right, we got this side on. It's nice and straight. Looks pretty good. Making progress. So I don't, like I said, it's getting windy out here. I don't know how well it picks up on the camera because I got that dead cat on there, but uh, we're gonna work over there. We're gonna do the transition metal so we can start up the roof. Um, and then we're not gonna do this panel, like I said earlier, these panels here because we need them to line up with the panels up here. So we need to get some of those on and then we can do these. And these side, this side will be real quick because uh, we know what we're doing. All right, back out here again this morning, uh, we got our transition metal and we put this extra little piece on. So we need to get this foam on because that's gonna go underneath the transition metal. So we measured up from the bottom to where we want this transition metal. We snapped the chalk line it's on the top ribs it didn't end up showing up on the bottom ribs because it was too far but all we needed is the top rib so this has a glue on the back of it which it would have been nice if it had a backing paper but it does not 
so we're just gonna stick this on and this glue will heat up when it gets warmer out today and then it'll melt right into the roof That stuff's a pain in the butt. All right, so now that's on. Now we can take this, and that's gonna sit down right over top. And then we'll fasten in to the top of the ribs. And that'll be that. So we'll get this lined up and get it screwed in. All right, so we got a chalk line snapped here on this, uh, Transition piece, so our screws are all lined up. Well, that's kind of crappy. That stuff gums up. I think it's just that end. Cause you, the screw probably twisted it, no? Yeah, I'm sure. But this one's probably gonna do something. Good. All right, so we got this first one down. You gotta put some silicone here between the two pieces. And we'll bring the next piece over and get that put in place. Let me get some screws, hold on. Do you have to put a screw in each rib? Yeah. just on this side of the
right, all right, all right. So we turned up, probably doesn't show up on the camera, but we turned up a half an inch on the side in case any water runs down. It'll keep flowing uh, down the roof and then it won't go over the edge. So our uh, edge trim will cover that. So we need to fasten this down all the way and then we'll add some tape here and then this transition piece will be done. Sticky stuff. All right, this tape is so frustrating. I honestly, I'll never buy this sheathing and tape system again. It sticks to underneath, and it doesn't peel off. And that's what you're dealt with. So you can't even use it because it's all stretched out. This is very frustrating, especially when it's 25 minutes to the closest Home Depot. So we do have to run to town today. I guess I'll get another roll of this and hope it works to run across there. Uh, but we'll screw the panels down, I guess. So we're done all the way across, except for the tape, like I said. Um, so we'll get that today in town, and we'll probably end up buttoning that up tomorrow morning. And then from there, we're gonna work on the front porch. Um, have a checkup with my foot. So we're kind of waiting for that to be uh, a little bit better before we do the big roof and get equipment out here, because that's gonna be a, a marathon of getting that. So um, we're hoping within the next week or so to get the equipment out here to start putting the roof panels on and then it should go fairly quick but um we'll need equipment for a week so we'll put this tape on in the morning and go from there why'd you give me these <laughs> i meant to give you the tape that's not what you gave me though i know let's try a little harder okay all right so we got our tape feels so much better now. So we can go ahead and get this taped out. I'm not gonna tape all the way over because I do have to make some cuts on this uh, piece here, but I wanna wait till we get our other pieces up. Actually, you know what? I can go all the way over because I just have to put it there. So just like you saw us do with the sheathing over and over and over again, I just run it out and squish it down. Squish it. Squish. Yeah, well, you tell me when. Squish away. 
to it nothing to it but to do it right I don't think that applies in this situation but that's what they say all right well it's all taped across uh, this tape is probably not necessary because the metal is going to overlap so far but um, it's cheap it's like 30 bucks a roll so I might as well put it on now so that if there was any issues, we wouldn't have to go back and redo it. So um, we were gonna work on some of the fascia and stuff, but I don't know if the camera's picking up. It's a little bit windy. You can see that tree and it's supposed to get breezier. So I think we'll call it for this one. We did order the skid steer. It'll be here in uh, four days, four days our time, not when this comes out. This will come out in a couple days. So um, we have four days to get the front roof buttoned up and done the front garage roof and then we got the skid steer here so uh, I think we're gonna go check our grade on the inside we do need to add a little bit more gravel so we'll do that with the skid steer uh, and then we'll do the metal panels we have to we'll put some of that fill that we got all the way around the outside and that'll be our last grading before concrete um, so we'll have to do some um, form we'll have to build our forms on the outside of the porch afterwards and that's down the road but uh, we're trying to get all that done with the skid steer when it's out here. So we got some nice weather coming up. It's going to be hot. I think it's back into the 90s again when the skid steer's out here. So um, yeah, it's not going to be a ton of fun, but we're making progress. So that's where we'll leave this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.